today on Be Something Wonderful, how to know you create your own reality and then create it. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. We released a massive video yesterday that really turned out to be a master class in reality creation and really manifesting anything. Well, today is another master class demonstrated by one of my clients that demonstrated this idea of how to know you create your own reality and then creating it because that's what he did. He moved to the realization and then created it. Now, he texts me, and remember, this is about a specific person in this case, an SP, but that is not what this video is about. It's the realization, it's the demonstration that, that you can create anything with this kind of realization. It's, mu it's so much bigger than that, but this is what, he, what, what, what was on his mind, what he was creating at that moment. And he, he uh, put in the subject line, she called, with the exclamation points. He goes, our session helped me unlock the conviction in me that I call the assumptions in my reality, that I call the shots. I love that. He's got that idea now that he calls the shots. He, he decides what reality is. Remember, this is not just about a specific person. This is about all desires, all experiences. It's about you as a creator, right? He goes, I was contemplating two SPs, two people that he was dating, right? And he, dis he goes, we discussed my assumption with both. He had an assumption about both of them. And essentially he believed, I believed there was no relationship there. That was his assumption, right? He goes, I complicated things, thinking that I was walking around with some limiting beliefs. He was trying to identify what, is he, what are the limiting beliefs that are preventing him from having these relationships. But then he goes, as we talked, I saw clearly that I didn't need to look or search for anything. There's nothing to solve, nothing to find. This was the part, this is how we started, as I always talk about, right? There's nothing to solve here. It's your assumptions in the moment that matter, in the now moment, in this identity now. So this is big. He went on. He go, and then, of course, he asked the question, like many of you do, but how do I get to that place in knowing? He goes, I asked you. This is his email to me. He goes, I asked you, how do I get to that place in knowing that there's nothing to solve, that there's nothing to look for, that I'm not carrying around, walking around with limiting beliefs? He, and I said, and he, he, I said, you're there. You said, you're in, the, you're in that place. There's nowhere to go. This was my answer to him, right? And he goes, Wow. That interrupted the second guessing and it changed everything. This was his first point where he started moving to that knowing. There's no place to go. There's nowhere to, you're there already, right? He goes, now the only thing I'm walking around with is the knowing that I am reality. In other words, he, believing that he was walking around with limiting beliefs, he goes, the only thing I'm walking around with is the knowing, powerful, that I am reality. And that my assumptions are always new, which is how you put it. That was so good. This is his email to me saying that, that I, I mentioned that idea that I mentioned many times on the channel. That your assumptions and beliefs are new in every moment. You get to create them. You get to create that whole new identity, whole new reality in every moment. That was big. He goes, wow, that was so good. So here's the demonstration. Here's where he really got it to the knowing that I am 3D reality. You remember, you are 3D reality. He says here in the email, five days after our session, the woman I am really interested in, who I barely know, went on, went on only one date with, who is so fantastic and charismatic and wonderful, and a model, by the way, and he put a little, lots of laughs there, she's a model, who canceled our second date because she didn't want a relationship. They went on one date and she, te she texted him and said she didn't want a relationship. Well, she texted him again, texted me out of the blue because she was having second thoughts and asked to see me again. Ha, he says. Now remember, as I've always said, it's never out of the blue, it's out of you. 
What changed within him is the only question. It's not the conditions that changed, the outer conditions. None of that changed, right? It's the identity, right? Still had doubts. So even the doubts and fears were still there. So they didn't change. What changed his assumptions, his knowing, right? Do you see it? Five days later, she texted him out of the blue and wants to see him. This, all this stuff about the one who's real, that I'm really interested in, that I barely knew or know, that we only had one date, that she's fantastic and charismatic and wonderful. And, and those are all conditions that you believe can either help you be with that person you want or lead you away from your desire, help you manifest it or not. But none of those matter. Doesn't matter if she's a model, doesn't matter how out of reach it looks. None of that matters. That's the middle. This is what we got to. So here's the realization. Reality. My life experience is what I assume and say it is. That's his big realization. This is what we've talked about many times, right? He go, and this is what he goes on to say in the email. I was so excited. Explanation points. But he goes, I also finally knew. Do you see? Yeah, he was excited that she wants to date him. That she, that, that she wants to see him again, that, that she doesn't want to just be friends. He's excited, but what's even more exciting is that he finally knows what he knows. He knows that he's the knowing. He goes, in the past, I would have thought she texted me because she actually does really like me, right? Starting to look at saying it's because of the conditions. It's because of I look a certain way or I am a certain way. That's why. And justified what happened in 3D with 3D ra ra uh, uh, rationalizations with the effects, with the reflections, projections within you. Remember, that's all 3D reality is. They're just reflections. They're projections within you. They're not outer conditions that's changing her mind. It's the inner conditions. It's who you decide you are. It's your identity that's changing reality, that's changed in you are reality. So you become a different person, so you see a different version of that person. A version that resonates with who you're being, the one that wants a relationship, right? It's not about the conditions. It's not about the events. It's not about what you're doing. You, he would have thought that that was it. It was from me. I did it, right? It was from those events. It's from who you're being, right? You, your knowing, your assumptions, your beingness is the one and only cause of your experience of reality. You are reality. That was his realization, right? So let's go on. Let's unpack this a little bit more. Once you know, you can't unknow what you know. He knows now. It's bigger than the specific person. It's bigger than the dates with models. Although that's pretty cool. Whatever, right? It's different than someone that looks so wonderful that you put on such a big pedestal, right? And you put all those at that importance on it, right? Remember, the middle is importance, right? But you don't need importance when you're a source. You go directly from desiring it to, to being it to having it, to knowing that you are it, right? I know now, this is what he says, that she called me because I said so. I love this. Master class here, folks. She, I know now that she called me because I said so, because I moved to a new reality. In other words, a new identity that resonates with one of the infinite versions of her that wants to date me. I call the shots. I call the assumptions. In other words, he created a new world a new earth for him, a new reality, a new identity, where there was a version of her that resonated with who he's being. He created that new version of her because you create your reality. You are 3D reality, right? So you create those conditions. We went on a second date. It was fantastic. And our third date is in a couple days. Already moving to a third date in five days, this transformed, right? He, go, he says here, it's so helpful and life-changing to not worry about contrary thoughts and feelings, to not try to counteract them. His whole thing was having these contrary thoughts and feelings, right? That he was trying to resolve, trying to fix, right? Believing that they're, I'm having those because I'm holding on to some limiting beliefs that have been with me my whole life or, or whenever, right? So this is big realization right here. We've talked about this many times. And he knew this, right? He knew this. He goes, it, so again, this continues. 
It's so helpful and life changing to not worry about contrary thoughts and feelings, to not, counteract, to not have to counteract them. And he goes, to know that I'm God, to declare my assumptions, to rely on knowing that because I declared it, to rely on knowing that because I declared it, it's done, to rely on knowing that it's done because I declared it's done. I am the cause, I am cause, nothing else to worry about. And then he goes on to say, I knew this, but the, there was a difference. So hear this. He knew this. He goes, I knew that. I knew I'm God. I, I know that it's about my assumptions. I know all that. I know that there's contrary thoughts and that I, I don't have to do anything with them. I know all that. He goes, but here's the difference. This is big. This is a big piece. Buckle up. My knowing used to be a thought of knowing among all the other thoughts I had. Hear this realization. I'm getting tingles here. My knowing, the knowing that I do this, and knowing that I create reality, the knowing that I'm reality, the knowing that it's all me, the knowing that I declare it and assume it, was, was just, a, used to be a thought of knowing among all other thoughts. It was mixed in with all the contrary thoughts. Right? And now he says, my knowing is a serene, unapologetic conviction that is unconcerned with any hint of contradictions or contradiction. Wow! That, that, that knowing is the source of all thoughts, all quote, second thoughts. That that knowing is the sponsoring thought is the awareness. The sponsoring thought is Neil Donald Walsh talks about in conversations with God, right? It's the love of that thought. That's, that knowing is the one thought. It's not mixed in with the other thoughts, although that's what he believed. That's what it was like. That was his experience. Yeah, I know, but I know other, but I believe I know other things that contradict it. He mixed the knowing in with all that messy middle, Right in the middle, that's the middle, right? Mixing it in with all the other thoughts. Instead of saying, I am that I am, right? Not mixing it in, I am but, right? Do you see it? Wow, that's big. It's that knowing, it's that sense of awareness, right? It's that conviction, it's that, it's, it's unconcerned with any hint of contradictions. It's not touched by any of it. It's the awareness within which all those thought, all those other thoughts take place and exist and have their being. Knowing is awareness of being, where real contradictions are impossible. This is what he got to. It's impossible to have contradictions in that knowing, in that awareness. This was so big. So let's continue. In other words, what's he saying? I am that I am. Not I am, but, and there's a bunch of other thoughts mixed in with it, right? I am that knowing, that awareness and conviction within which all other thoughts and conditions live, move, and have their being. All the other con contradictions live, move, and have their being within that awareness, within the knowing that you are. You don't have to do anything with those. All extremes reconcile, all con con contradictions reconcile in the knowing, right? There, it's, it's no longer a thought among all other thoughts. My knowing is the sponsoring thought. It's the first thought. It's the first cause. It's source and there is no other. I am God and there is no other. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I'm the beginning and the end. I'm the first and last. It's not mixed in the middle. Do you see it? I am the knowing and the knowing. I'm not mixing it in with other thoughts of contradictions. Contradictions can only exist in the middle. Remember, I've called it the messy middle at times. Right? And the middle is not reality. It's not who you really are. There's a bunch of different thoughts there. Whew. This is so powerful. Such a big lesson today. I am the... So, so here's, a, here's what I wanted to show you. I desire to be that identity, that reality, dating that SP model. Where she wants to date me. She wants a relationship. I want that identity. Right? Then there's thoughts and conditions. I know I know Plus, there's other thoughts and conditions. There's the middle. In the middle, he's mixing that knowing with other thoughts and contradictions. Yeah, I know. I know that I declare my own reality. I know that I can desire it and assume it. I know all that. I know I'm God. But there's other thoughts and contradictions as maybe you're not. Maybe she doesn't want to date you. Maybe, maybe she doesn't like you. Maybe you're not good enough. 
right? Maybe it, it, all of that's going on. And then you move to the knowing, I am that knowing, I am that awareness, I am that source. I am the beginning, I desire something, and, and then I move to the end. I am that person that I want to be. I already have that. The, you pull the knowing, I know that I know here. I desire to be that identity in dating my SP, and I know I am. I know I know. I know I'm God. I am the alpha, the beginning and the first. And I know I am the omega, the end and the last. He, he pulled out the knowing that was mixed in with the contradictions. I know I know. I am that I am. First thought, source. It's not I think, therefore I am, as Descartes said. It is I am, therefore I think. Reality is what I say it is, right? Reality is what I think it is. Reality is what I assume it is. Do you see the power here? So big. What a realization. Do you see it? I know I know. That exists here and here, but we mix it in the middle with the other contradictions and the other thoughts and the other things, right? But you're not. You're the beginning and the end. You're the first and last. You're the Alpha and Omega. You're all of it. Allow those other thoughts and conditions to exist and have their being there. But don't give them any other thought. Don't give them a second thought. It's first thought. It's source. It's I am, therefore I think. Right? Not I think, therefore I am. Then, then that knowing gets mixed in with everything else. Wow! How to really know you create your own reality and then create it. That was a master class. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on our videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, the Be Something Wonderful um, Ambassadors uh, uh, at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful for joining our Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, our TikTok at Be Something Wonderful, and our membership channel where we just had a beautiful big live stream, an hour and 20 minutes on Sunday. We're going to have, we're looking at dates for December. We're also looking at another video that we're preparing for the membership channel that will be released. Big stuff coming. If you're a member, thank you for joining. If you're not a member, check it out. There's a link below. Creators, with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude, this is Tom in the studios here of Be Something Wonderful in Las Vegas. Until next time, we'll see you soon.